find my lines. Where are my lines? There they are. God, I hope I don't pick up a nail in here. That would suck. It's a motorcycle training range, for goodness sakes. This damn thing is not worth anything. Nope. Totally useless. One more. Right, homeward bound. So what's going on with my Kaylee 7 today? Well, beyond this camera rig not holding the camera in place, stupid thing. Besides that, I'm recording, so yay, I guess. I hope I'm recording. I think I am. And now I can relax. Yes, now I can relax. Or not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I noticed that when I pull the when I turn the throttle to start off, it almost stalls out. I gotta take it in. It does that sometimes and it's unnerving. And it actually stalled out on me a couple of times. So what's going on? Oh, goodness gracious. I watched Road Reality, a video he made about the uh, GoPro Hero 12, I guess it's called. It looks pretty good. All the settings on it, my god. I'm not used to too many settings on something. You know, it's kind of like one, two, or three. I mean, I have hard enough time figuring out at the at the eye doctor, right? Is it, which one's better, one or two? One or two? One, two, or three? Like, oh man, they're all variously bad. I don't think it really ever happens where you go, this one's perfect. I can see perfectly. No, no. And they're gonna put that gunk in your eye, make your pupils all big. That's not gonna make you see better when they do that test. I think they're rigging the thing. Anyway. I'd like to learn more about making my videos look cool. 
I do a lot of uh, color manipulation on the photos I take with my iPhone. I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. And the way I look at the, uh, the way I manipulate the colors and stuff, it's kind of like the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb Space Telescope and how they do it. You know, because it's infrared and ultraviolet, so they use different colors to bring that stuff out. You can see all this detail. Well, so the, the detail is there. You just can't see it because your eyes don't pick it up. Well, my eyes pick up even less because I have uh, redshift color blindness or color deficiency. Red, green. So uh, I punch up the pictures just so I can see them because everything looks kind of bland. And then maybe they look too blown out, but I like them. Maybe I'll even mess with the video. See if I can get that to be, uh, I don't know, something. I don't know. Be nice. I use ClipChamp now because Vegas Movie Studio screwed me. I ain't never using them again. Apparently, I used to think that they were good. I thought that they were like the gold standard of something. Anyway, Sony doesn't have them anymore. So I don't know what the hell's going on. It's a, it's a clown circus now, right? So, nope. I know DaVinci Resolve could be the, the next one. It's just, I'm looking for something that's not so damn hard to learn. If they had, like, shells, like if you buy a program like DaVinci Resolve... And they say, okay, what level are you? He said, I'm a beginner. Okay, well, here's the, the way it looks for beginners. Click this, click that, click this. You know, it's real simple. And then if once you start learning, like, you know what, I want to do some more intermediate stuff. And then, like, you can open up another shell, and it's got a couple more features that you can mess with. And slowly over time, you can build up to the, to the good stuff without overwhelming yourself. But a lot of these things, man, that you click on something, what the hell is this? There's a grid. There's stuff moving around. You don't know what it does. I don't want to spend half my time watching some Indian kid on YouTube. Oh, the way you do it is you have to move the frame and the keyframe, and then you have to paste it. The good, the good. No thanks. No, no offense to the Indian kids, but come on. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's, it's like the Indians have cornered the market on technological explanation videos. To which I say, I mean, nea chalage, nea chalage. Means I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll give you a little view here. How about that? Would you like a little view of the road? I'm going to slow way down here because there's a couple of nice corners I want to take. Let them go. And I can also appreciate the beauty of North Carolina. I got somebody creeping up on me now, so I gotta go. Damn it. Oh well. It was nice while it lasted. Hopefully the camera will stay on me as I go through my corners. Just a simple little jaunt through a simple little corner. I'm half squid, so I'm not really pushing it. Plus, I'm out of practice, my goodness. If anybody's still wondering, hey, Mike, what do you think of the gold wing? I love it. Duh. Do you hate Harley now? No, I don't hate Harley. I don't hate anything. I don't have time for that crap. Hatred is stupid. So, if I had the money and the druthers and all that, I would get a Harley Fat Bob. I think those are really cool looking. Plus, they get the performance. 
But uh, I don't want to have two bikes anymore. I had the two bikes for a bit, and uh, it was all right. But by the end of it, I was like, you know, I just want to have the one bike. So maybe I'll downsize at some point. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I mean, it's it's uh it's kind of nice when you can you know go from one to another. But maybe the fact that I had a a monster naked that. Uh, Kawasaki ZH2SE with the Skyhook technology. I mean, that thing was ridiculous. A zero to 152 in like 10 seconds. It's ridiculous. Maybe less than 10 seconds. Of course, I was fat, so it might have taken longer. Plus, I was timid. But uh, that thing was. That was death on wheels. Either that or prison. Definitely lose your license type of stuff. I'd also like to get, uh, or at least try, I'd just try, uh, an Africa Twin. I've always liked the Africa Twin, the DCT model. I think that'd be a cool bike to try. Maybe someday. As I go slithering into my neighborhood, like the badass that I am. I didn't even scrape on that one. you got to be proud of me. I did not even scrape. Not at all. Oh, say hi to the doggies. Hello. Oh, the poochies. I love the doggies. Ah. So just tooling along here, going home, I check my mail, I did the yard work, maybe I'll edit some video, maybe I'll have a shot of Laphroaig, my favorite scotch, that and the Belvini, oh I love the Belvini. Well, you folks stay safe out there, take care of yourselves and each other. I will talk to you later.